an article bought for one hundred and twenty-five dollars was sold for one seventy-five. The profit as a percentage of the cost price was all right. So let us see what happens here. Remember, there is a formula here. If you remember it well, it would be selling price minus cost price. Our cost price times 100 will give you the percentage profit. So you sold it for 175. If you subtract the cost price of 125, the price that it cost you, then you would get. Alright. That would be what? 7, 20, 35, if it is 70. That would be $50. And divide it by the cost price of 125. Now, here, this would be 50 divided by 125. Let's cancel out. 5 into 50 is 10, divided by 5 into 12 is going to be 2. Remainder 2, 5 into 25, 5, 10 over 25 by 100. So, 25, yeah, 25, 1, 25 to 100, 4, 4, 10, 40. We have 40 here. Now, this formula, well, whenever you try to remember a formula, sometimes you meet in difficulties, right? Here, you might not remember the formula well. Clearly, this is selling price minus cost price that will give you the money in terms of profit. But should it be over the selling price or the cost price? Let's try both. Oh, let me put by the time of 100. Why did I delete it? Let's see what happens here. Suppose you bought something for $200. Or let's say $1,000. That's the cost price is $1,000. And the selling price is $1,100. The profit is clearly how much? It will be 10%. Right? You add one tenth to it and this is what you get. Now, let's try this the selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100 and see if it works out. 1100 minus 1000, that's selling price minus cost price over cost price of 1000 times 100 will be this is 100 over 1000 times 100 100 into 100 100 into 1000 10 100 over 10 is 10 percent good it works out now the thing is if you should try the second one, the second formula, what you get is 1100 minus 1000 selling price minus cost price over and you put selling price here times 100. What you get is 100 over 10, over 1000 I mean, 100 over 1000 times 100. You can see down and then you have 1,000, 1,100 minus that, good, over 1,000. So, what you get here, the overselling price, my mistake, um, I should put this as selling price. Let's redo this part. Suppose you make the mistake of putting out over selling price over 1100. What would that? 
This would be 100 over 1100 times 100. You cancel down and then you say 100 over 11 would be the thing there, would be the profit instead of 10%. This would be less than 10%. Because if you would divide it, 11 into 100, you know that 11 into 90, 9 is 9, 9, 9, 11, 99, subtract, you get 1. So it would be 9.0 something. So here, don't make a mistake of trying to remember the formula and put selling price minus cost price over selling price. It's definitely selling price minus cost price over cost price, the original cost price times 100. Alright? So, anyway, the answer for this question, question 16, is B.